Well, not a scam that's been around, but some say is on the rise. It's called check washing. It starts when a scammer steals your check out of the mail, uses chemicals to wash off the ink. Mm, and then they fill in their own name and write checks to clean out a victim's bank account. Seven on your side, Zena Pineda has helped some viewers get their money back and has tips on how to avoid becoming a victim yourself. I was shocked. Carol Coleman is of a generation who balances her checkbook and writes paper checks for all her bills. On November 17th, she wrote out a check to pay off her Amex balance, mailed it from her Upper East Side building, but by the time it cashed, it was more than 13 times the amount she wrote it for and made out to a complete stranger. 656 to 9,000? Yeah. yeah. Across the park on the Upper West Side, freelance TV producer Matt Schick is a Gen Zer who mostly banks online. Renovating a new apartment with his wife, the newlywed wrote a check to one of his contractors. I live right across from ABC, so I mailed it right out to the, put it right in the mailbox. And two days later, when I saw it was deposited, I said, that's very unlikely. Cashed, but not by his electrician. The name had been scratched out and changed to Jennifer Someone, who got 7500 out of their joint account. After this experience, I'll never, I'll never mail a check again. Carol says when she first contacted citizens, it said no problem, her money would be returned. But then later said it didn't think the check was altered. And then he said, well, it says the case is closed. I said, what? Matt's been ping-ponging between his bank, Chase, and Bank of America, which cashed the forged check. It's been 130 days, I believe, since I filed the report with, uh, with Chase, and there's been nothing, nothing done. Both had something else in common. They had relatives send them Seven on Your Side Story, where we helped a veteran recover seven grand after his check was stolen, washed, and forged. I found Seven on Your Side from my dad. You stepped in and solved this problem from a previous person. We began working with all the banks. Citizens returned Carol's $9,000 within days. Oh, it's fabulous. I'm so happy. I can't tell you. I, I don't believe it. Matt's case took weeks to resolve. Both banks apologized, and we got his $7,500 back. I really appreciate you supporting people like me. A few big takeaways. If you're going to write a check, use a pen with indelible ink. A black gel pen will seep into the check's fibers, make it a lot harder to wash. And try to mail from the post office, not a standalone mailbox, because thieves find a way to fish out of here. Always double check your check's images for forgery and if you're a victim of fraud, report it right away to the USPS so they can investigate. On the upper